Hi, my name is Prashant Saudhari and uh, in this talk I will present our work merging ISP multi-exposure high dynamic range image signal processing. Uh, this is a joint work with eSolution, Game, Beha, Elangan and multiple collaborators at Friedrich Alexander University. High dynamic range imaging has many applications ranging from computational photography, HDR display monitors for gaming or video editing as well as for autonomous driving. In a nutshell, the typical process of capturing a scene of interest starts with the illumination by a light source. Camera optics helps to navigate the scene onto a camera sensor and generate a raw representation of the scene. This raw scene uh, is processed using the processing pipeline uh, called the camera ISP to generate an image that can be shown on a display. In our work, we focus on processing pipeline for HDR imaging. Natural scene often exhibits a high dynamic range that is difficult to record using conventional uh, imaging sensors. To this end, the idea is to capture multiple shots uh, with uh, increasing exposure values and merge into one image such that the shadows and the highlights from the scene are retained in one final image as shown in the figure below. The camera sensor records one color channel per pixel. This is because of the color filter array that is placed uh, onto the sensor as shown in the figure on the left. The multiple stages of the ISP can be addressed using low level vision and high level vision processing methods. Low level vision uses pixel level restoration methods for demosaicing, defect pixel interpolation, denoising, sharpening to name a few. While the high level vision focus on global operations like contrast enhancement, color correction, HDR imaging, gamma correction to name a few. The classical approach of building such a pipeline is to cascade the subtask sequentially using state-of-the-art algorithms. In that sense, one can choose statistical methods or data-driven model methods for individual subtasks of low-level and high-level vision. The main drawback of such a pipeline is the accumulation of error from low-level vision methods that is amplified by the high-level vision methods. For example, the demosaicing artifacts uh, can be amplified by image sharpening. Uh, also, the residual noise uh, after the denoising de step is propagated uh, along the pipeline and amplified by contrast enhancement. Here we show the result of a cascaded pipeline using state-of-the-art algorithms. The demosaicing artifacts and the residual noise are amplified by the HDR merging algorithms and are retained in the final uh, image. Another approach to build such a pipeline is the coupling of low-level and high-level vision tasks in a unified framework. A model-based approach called Flex ISP uh, is shown in the slide which is a unified optimization framework defined as a single integrated inverse problem. Flex ISP offers several benefits such as uh, it supports many sensor design patterns and incorporate natural image priors. However, uh, analytical modeling of such a given system uh, can become very complex. Also, uh, such uh, model cannot uh, yield a true HDR image as shown in the figure on the top. Recently, data-driven methods have shown good results by learning the coupling of from an example data. CameraNet learns the restoration and enhancement subtask independently from an example data set. However, uh, even did such a method cannot produce a true HDR image uh, as shown in the prediction. Our approach, uh, so we use, uh, we introduce our approach to solve the multi-exposure HDR imaging. It takes uh, M dynamic uh, exposure images, YI, uh, with the resolution of NX by NY by three. The transformation is achieved by learning a mapping function uh, from raw inputs to a true target H HDR image X that is aligned to the reference exposure. 
we use a modularized deep neural network design as the architecture for our approach. This architecture consists of parallel reconstruction subnets, a domain conversion module, and a fusion subnet. The input to the reconstruction subnet uh, is the raw exposure uh, image with three channels, YI, and the output is a feature volume, CI. The reconstruction subnet uh, is an independent in in instance for the input exposure, YI. This subnet is fully convolutional architecture. Also, the output of the uh, subnet is a demosaic version of the feature volume. This method uh, involves residual blocks that uh, help with faster training uh, and uh, are better for restoration methods. The domain conversion uh, module uh, takes the uh, low dynamic range domain uh, input C high and generates the high dynamic range domain uh, output Z I H. Using the notion of precision learning, the domain conversion uh, can be formulated uh, with known uh, as a known operator with no learnable parameters. So for our ith exposure feature volume, uh, ZIH is calculated as the division of CI raised to gamma and the exposure time. Here gamma is set to be 2.2. The input to the fusion nut subnet uh, is the channel-wise concatenation of the low dynamic range and high dynamic range features from the uh, domain conversion module. This subnet produces an uh, output in the H output HDR MHX. The fusion subnet is a compact four-layer uh, architecture, as shown in the figure. It involves fully convolutional layers with ReLU activation. This subnet has the ability to uh, perform alignment of exposures in the feature space. Our pipeline works in the linear domain. We use data-driven mapping by constraining the HDR image X to be geometrically aligned with the reference exposure. Tone mapping uh, is used to achieve the final HDR image in a displayable format. In order to train our network, we use uh, the L2 loss function on the tone mapped version of the prediction and the ground truth. HDR image X. The tone map uh, we use the mu law based uh, tone mapping operator uh, TX equal to log of one plus mu X over log of one plus mu. Here mu is set to be five thousand. To train our model, we use the uh, data set collected by Kalantari that comprises of 89 HDR scenes. Out of them, we use 70 to train our model. Uh, we use four for validation and 15 uh, to test. The medium exposure uh, input is set to be the reference exposure. In order to generate the raw inputs for our model, we synthesize the original low dynamic scenes uh, using a Fire RGGB mask as shown in the figure on the right. We perform the inference on the full resolution 1500 by 1000 pixel uh, images from the scene. Here we show the quantitative comparison again uh, against cascaded ISPs. To this end, uh, for the the mosaicing uh, subtask we use a non learning based uh, method from Menon and a learning based uh, method from Kokinos. And for HDR merging, we uh, uh, select three uh, methods. First is the method from uh, uh, Elatsen that uses a single uh, input image for HDR generation. Second is the method from SEN that uses robust patch-based approach for HDR merging. 
uh, and the third is the method from Wu that uses a data-driven approach. Hence, we have a com uh, hence we generate six combinations for uh, cascaded ISPs as shown in the graph. As one can note that uh, the single exposure method by Ellertson fails uh, one in the quantitative results drastically since it does not consider multiple exposures. Also, the non-learning based demosaicing method from Menon generates uh, error, uh, error and that is propagated along the pipeline and enhanced by the uh, HDR merging uh, methods. Using the state-of-the-art data-driven method by Kokinos uh, for demosaicing yield uh, considerably good uh, results. However, our uh, merging ISP uh, achieves state-of-the-art results out of all the cascaded ISPs. In this graph, the same can be said for another uh, quality metric called HDR VDP2 that gives the, that is a general uh, measurement for high dynamic range images. Here is an example uh, seen from the Kalantari set uh, for uh, merging ISP. So on the left side are the synthetic raw inputs. Uh, in the middle is uh, the output of our approach. And uh, on the right, we compare it uh, against two uh, cascaded ISPs. As it can be seen that we achieve uh, state-of-the-art uh, results in terms of the PSNR value. Also visually, uh, our method achieves uh, high perceptually high perceptual images. To bring back the motivation for no uh, error propagation uh, in this slide, we show that our approach does not uh, yield any demosaicing or uh, noise amplification artifacts in the final image. In order to test uh, our uh, subnets, we uh, perform an ablation study where uh, we learn the subtask separately. So in this slide, we show the uh, results of learning uh, the subtask uh, sub separately for demo psyching and HDR merging that forms a cascaded ISP. In order to merge the multiple exposures, we use the optical flow by Liu. As it can be seen uh, that the pre-aligned cascaded approach which uses the optical flow alignment on the raw data uh, is affected by the missing pixel values and results in ghosting artifacts. Also the post-aligned cascaded approach is degraded by the demo psyching errors uh, affecting the optical flow alignment. The proposed end-to-end -end learning uh, of the merging ISP does not contain any such artifacts. To extend the ablation study, we also test the same uh, architecture with a pre-aligned version uh, with optical flow. It is interesting to know that the pre-alignment can cause errors that are difficult to comp compensate in the subsequent ISP stages as shown in the figure on the left. In contrast, uh, handling exposure alignment in conjunction with low level and high level vision by the proposed method mitigates error accumulation and generates high quality results. So to conclude, merging ISP uh, is a multi-exposure high dynamic range imaging method. We uh, our method is robust for dynamic scenes. Uh, we show that end-to-end -end learning uh, is beneficial and uh, there is no explicit need for external alignment of exposures. 
also error propagation is avoided and our method is computationally efficient. Thank you.